Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of Experimental RC. I'll be doing a weekly episode where I experiment with different flight concepts such as annular wings or vertical takeoffs. Annular wings are circular or oval shaped closed wings just like that and vertical takeoffs are airplanes that take off and land vertically. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this. This is a great way to learn to fly RC. It's a really simple to build and fly airplane. Uh, free plans are on my website for it, and I'll just be going through the build procedure with you in this week's video. First of all, go to my website, rcexperimental.com. Click on the foam cub at the top there, and download the free plans for it, then print them off. Once you have the plans printed off, you'll want to get the materials ready. You need some quarter of an inch insulation foam, some masking tape, hot glue, disposable wood chopsticks, and scissors and a felt marker. For more information about the materials, check out my website. Once you have the plans printed out, you'll want to uh, tape them together. Now you'll notice they print with a little bit of a border, you'll just want to cut that off. And then line them up and use just a little bit of masking tape to hold them together. Once you've stuck the plans together, you'll want to cut out all the pieces of the airplane. Just use scissors and cut out along the black lines. Once everything's cut out, you'll want to use masking tape to tape it onto the piece of foam. Now use a sharpie to outline the different pieces, that way there will be a nice clear outline of where you need to cut. Once you have everything outlined, you'll want to use an X-Acto knife to cut out along the border. Uh, keep the knife at a very low angle, and that way it'll give you a clean cut and it won't rip the foam. If there's any black left on it, you can just trim it off afterwards. For this piece here, you'll probably want to use just a piece of packaging foam that's about an inch and a half thick. If it's more, that's okay. You can trim it in a later on step. Um, this is what I did. I used uh, three pieces of half an inch insulation foam in this shape glued together. That works too, but uh, your best bet would probably be packaging foam. For the pieces that you need two or three of, it's very important that they're all exactly the same size. You may need to just use a piece of low grit sandpaper and sand down one of the sizes just to make sure they're all even. Now that you have all the pieces ready, you'll want to start by gluing these two pieces together. Just put hot glue along this piece here, and then stick the two pieces together. Don't use too much hot glue or it'll melt the foam. Now you'll want to hot glue the three smaller triangular pieces onto the back here, just about like this. One at the bottom, one in the middle, and one along the top. Now take these three pieces here and glue two along the bottom just like that. The other one will go on the top here, but just set it aside for later. Now glue this block of foam in just like that. Then cut a slot in the bottom here where the slit is in the foam for your landing gear to go in and just make sure that all fits. If it doesn't, if it's too big, you might need to uh, put some hot glue in there just to hold it. Now use the X-Acto knife just to cut this extra piece of foam off here. And also depending on uh, how thick that block ended up being, you might need to trim this part off here 
if you do just cut like that and make sure it's even. Also cut a trench in the top here so the wires from the motor can get through. Now put hot glue on all of the exposed surfaces. Uh, don't put too much again or it'll melt the foam. Then press this piece on, just like that. Now sand down all the edges just to make everything smooth and even. Now take the rudder and start by making a cut at the top. Then put the knife at a 45 degree angle and cut along this edge here. Now to make a hinge, you'll want to take the vertical stabilizer and the rudder you just cut a 45 degree angle at. Put some masking tape along the vertical stabilizer and tape the rudder on at a 45 degree angle. Then fold it over and put some masking tape along the other side. You also need to put a 45 degree angle into the elevator, just the same way you put it into the rudder. It's also a good idea to reinforce this part here as it's pretty thin and easy to break. You could just use a stick or a nail or almost anything to do that. <laughs> Now you'll want to put a hinge on the elevator using masking tape just the same way you put the hinge on the rudder. put hot glue on both sides of the horizontal stabilizer in the middle and then stick it in the crack in the back of the fuselage. Do your best to make sure it's in the middle and at a 90, 90 degree angle to the fuselage. Now put hot glue on the base of the vertical stabilizer and stick it on to the back of the fuselage. Don't forget to bookmark my website and subscribe because next week I'll be showing you how to install the electronics, how to make the wing, and also I'll be introducing my first experimental concept I'm going to be playing around with. Thanks for watching.